What's up everybody, my name is SK and welcome back to my channel. In my previous video, I've been talking a lot about poses, how to get a good silhouette, how to make use of the line of action, and how to get a good handshake poses. I still have a lot more tips I can give you about poses, but let us move on for now. So today, we're going to talk about how to identify your key poses. First, we need to know what is a key poses. For example, this is a running reference that I found online. Where do we start to animate this kind of reference? We start by keying in the poses. But there are a lot of poses in a reference. This is one pose, and this is another pose. We also have this, 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 and this. Which pose do we start to animate first? For those who attend animation school before, I'm sure that you have seen this run cycle before. For those who are new to animation, these are the key poses that you should include in your run cycle. If any of these key poses are missing from your animation, then your animation won't look as good as it should be. What are the names of the key poses that you should include in your run cycle? First, we will have the contact pose, then the down pose, followed by the passing pose, the up pose, and finally, we are back to the contact pose. So remember guys, every run or walk, we need to include these poses. Contact down, passing up. Contact down, passing up. Based on what you have learned just now, let's try to put the contact passing up down pose together. First, we have first pose. Put a marker down here. Okay, as you can see, this guy is ready to run off. So the foot down here. Take note of the planting foot when you try to lift up the leg. That is the pose that you need to key in. Here, you can see the leg is lifting off, right? And start to step on another side. This is the place where you plant the foot from here, where you plant over here. This is one contact and this is another contact point. This point to this point. This is one contact. This is the second contact point. One contact point to second contact point. Play it again. From here to here. From one contact to second contact. Before it lift off, around this area, put a marker down. Next contact. This will be another contact point. First pose is the very initial pose. Second pose, third pose. Okay, next, which is this. You can see the leg down here is starting to step down. This is the first contact point after it run off. The moment it touch the ground, that is the contact key pose. Next, get all the contact pose first. The moment it touch the ground, that is the contact pose. Followed by the last one over here. Okay, this will be the contact pose. You can see all the poles are contacted. Okay, if you look at the reference, okay, first you should key in the contact poles, then you move on to the down, passing and up. So I will advise you to do the down and the up first, then follow by the passing poles. So how do we identify where is the down and the up poles? Okay, you look at the place where it bend down the most. You look at the level of head. You can see the head over here. And the head over here is at the lowest point. And the up is at the highest point. Okay, if you compare it like this, you can see the up point is at the highest point And the down is at the lowest point. Usually, we don't track the head we track the hip, the base of the character, center of gravity of the character. You can see that is uh, up and then go down. Okay, so this is the lowest point. It's the lowest point and this is the highest point. So in your up pose, is at your highest point. Okay, your down pose is at your lowest point. Okay, with that, let's try to identify in our reference. I'm sorry guys, I think I have to cut you off for today. 
I'll be busy next few weeks, so I have to cut this video into two parts. In my next video, I will continue to guide you how to identify which is the up, down and passing pose. And I will also show you how to identify the poses in other type of reference, like this kind of sword animation. Finally, I will appreciate if you can hit the like button so that more people can get to see this type of tutorial. Hope to see you guys in my next video. Take care and happy animating.